Hey guys, it's Jess from Marks of Motherhood, and today I just wanted to quickly jump on while Made in Bags is having their Mother's Day sale. You can get 10 to 38% off, which is a great deal. I got both of these bags 30% off, and I'm really excited about them. So, this is the new crossbody bag in the black color. I have the Dusty Rose wallet that I've had for a little while now. And then I have the saddle in the new drawstring style bag and camel in the all day backpack. So I'm just on here today to show you guys kind of a quick little color comparison because I know that's always a question. A quick size comparison between these two and then just some of the features of the bag. So the first thing you might notice if you have a really good eye, which some of you guys notice every little thing, is the spelling has changed a little bit. So this is the original spelling, now on all the new bags and eventually on these bags as well is the new spelling. So the E is just by the A now, but it's still made in. And yeah, so love this wallet. It has tons of stuff. I really don't want to show you inside my wallet, it's bad. <laughs> but there are tons and tons of pockets and things. You can see much better pictures on the site. And then this front little thing, which I tend to put gift cards or receipts so they're easy to access. But like I said, this is the Dusty Rose color and it's the wallet I've been using lately. This is the new crossbody bag, which I'm excited about. And I love black, which is why I chose black for the crossbody thing because it'll be more of my personal bag. It comes with two separate straps. In my favorite padded straps, they do so well on these padded straps, but then also a seat belt crossbody strap. So you can hook it onto these outside D rings. Then on the inside, you have two pockets here. It's black, so it's kind of hard to tell. And a little card holder that's here. And then a key leash and a separate zipper pocket here. There's no extra pockets or anything in there. And then you have a slip pocket here. So this is the wallet inside of the bag, in case you carry more. It can go in this zipper part if you're wanting it to be more secure, but it is a tighter fit, as you can see, and it really eats up what space you have back here. So if you're gonna put it in the center, I would recommend putting it like in the center and not in this zipper part but it does fit in both if you want it in both. I have an iPhone 11 Pro with an OtterBox Defender case so it's a little thicker, but I can still slip it here, slip it here in the zipper pocket, or slip it back here in this magnetic slip pocket if I want to be able to access it even easier. So lots of options with this bag. It can definitely hold all of your personal items. I plan to keep my daughter's diapers and things right in here. Now, if I want to only have my daughter, which, you know, one day, <laughs> I can fit a disposable change mat, um, a diaper, and then just a small wipes thing would go in this as well, like one of the um, wipe pouches, which I don't have on me. But as you can see, it doesn't really eat up the space on the inside. You don't see it when you're opening it up as a personal bag, but then I have it with me. So I think this is really great for people that are transitioning out of diaper bags, which is what I'm excited about with this one. But now I'll show you these bags. Now for the all day backpack, I will link my other videos that I have as far as packing on this bag. I'm not gonna jump into a ton of its features because it's been around for a for a while. <laughs> so I will link those videos for you guys if you're interested. I just have it on today to kind of show a size comparison. So as you can see, it is a little bit shorter than this bag. However, it does open up wider than this bag. So it will pack up pretty similar as far as being able to hold everything. And then like I said, these backpack straps have been my favorite. They're just super padded, super comfortable to wear. This is the one that I'll normally take when I go to the park and stuff or if we're going on a longer hike just because it's a lot more comfortable to wear. I just love the padding on these bags and I just love how squishy these bags are too. So this, like I said, I will link the videos down below. This one is the new drawstring bag so I'll quickly go over some of its features. So you have a front zipper pocket here. Then the main one here, 
And what she's done, which I think is really cool, is instead of putting pockets back here that'll kind of eat up the space if you don't use them, they're actually right here in the front for you to use. So if you use them, great, but they are out of your way and not getting in the way if you don't plan to use them and just want to use the main pocket. Then you have the same zipper pockets, but they're in the back, so it kind of hides that they're even there, which is great. So if you need the extra room, it's there. If you don't, then you don't. <laughs> but it doesn't have like the zippers showing, so it's a little more aesthetically um, pleasing to the eye. And there's one on each side. Then they have the zipper pocket here on the back, which goes most of the way. As you can see, there's my finger to the end. And then a slip pocket here as well, which doesn't have a magnet or anything. It's just a slip pocket in the back of the bag. And then you have the D-rings for stroller straps if you want them. Now, the bag, like I said, is the new drawstring bag. So it does have a drawstring feature here. The nice thing that she added is this little finger strap right here that you can close the magnet with easier instead of trying to fumble around and through it, which is nice. Then the inside, you have this zipper pocket back here, which also has the logo. Then you have one insulated bottle pocket here on the side. You have a magnetic slip pocket back here with two pockets right in front of it. And then two pockets here in the front as well. So it should hold a ton of stuff. I will try to get a packing video up soon for you guys, but I just wanted to give a quick look for those wanting to take advantage of the Mother's Day sale. But if you guys have any other questions, just comment down below and let me know, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.